Friends, Anjo here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create fly through text using DaVinci Resolve 19. So if you're struggling to create a fly through text, or you would just like to use something fancy using the fly through text, and you don't know how to do it. So stick around and watch this video because I'm going to show you step by step how to achieve this. Now, as you can see here on my timeline, I have a video of this guy riding a bike, right? So I'm going to simple play it so that you can see. That's my video here. Now, the next thing you want to do, once you have your video in the timeline, just simply right click on this left hand side here and click add new track. Ensure that you move your video up to track two because you will need the track one to add your text. Now, with that said, on the left hand side, ensure that you click on effects, guys. Then under the toolbox here, go to title and simple drag the title onto your timeline, right? So you want to put that into the video track one. Now you want to adjust the text to how long you want on that timeline. And as you can see, I just have it there. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it at the size that it is. As a matter of fact, let's make it a little bit shorter. So you can put it like that. Now the next thing to do is just go towards the end of this text on the timeline and ensure you click on your video and just press Ctrl B on your keyboard. Or you can use the split tool, which is a razor here, and it's going to split the video. Now from here, click towards the middle of this video. Click on your video here on your timeline. You want to go to the inspector option on the upper right hand side and you want to scroll down to where you will find composite mode, right? So it's going to find composite. Click in this drop down and you want to change this to multiply. Now, what that is going to do for you is going to put the text over your video and you will have the text over the video with, let's say, a black background. But let's move on to the next step. So now once you have it like this, you want to click on your text now, guys, and change the text to whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to simple type right in, right, as an example. Now you want to change the font face, and it's better to use like extra bold or something which is large, and I'm going to show you why in a moment. Expand the size of the text so that it's large enough for you. So in this case, I'm going to leave it like about this. I think around here is good. Now, as you can see, my text is pretty much large enough. Now, once you finish adjusting the text to the size as you wish, click on the settings section here of the text and you want to go down to dynamic zoom. After you enable dynamic zoom, go to the beginning of your video, then click on this drop down towards the upper left hand side and you want to select dynamic zoom. Now this box will appear, just simple, make it as small as possible so that it can fit into one of the letters. As you can see, I will make it fit right into the eye, just like that. And the next thing is to simple click and swap. Now that's going to swap the entire motion of this zoom. And yeah, let's have a play of my video so that you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to play my video and have a look at that, guys. That's how to easily, easily create a dynamic zoom in DaVinci Resolve for text. I hope you found this useful guys. If you still can't figure it out, take your time to watch the video step by step. Feel free to pause that video so that you can learn how to basically create a fly through text in DaVinci Resolve. If you found value within this video, give this video a like guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And of course, I really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button just to become a part of this community. And guys, if you'd like to learn more on how to use DaVinci Resolve, Check out the playlist toward the end of this video. You can find a ton of other videos which I show you how to use DaVinci Resolve 19. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.